You are now watching Average is Failure, the Black Future Edition with Vaughn Edmead, a.k.a. Coach Vaughn, where we talk about black social issues and black culture and how to empower our communities for the future. How you doing? This is Vaughn, a.k.a. Coach Vaughn from Average is Failure. You are watching the Black Future Edition where we talk about uh, black social issues and we talk about black culture and how these are things can help elevate us for the future, all right? And so one of the things I want to talk about today is I just want to give us a, a little framework for relationships, okay? And the reason why I'm doing this is because anybody who, who, who watches um, or who pays attention to uh, black issues, we know that strong family units have been uh, quite an issue for us for a few generations, all right? For many generations, really, but not always our fault. Uh, but now we find ourselves where it's kind of like an epidemic for us, all right? And I, I'm listen, when I say that, this is not a blame game kind of thing. Uh, I would never do that because I, too, have been through a divorce, okay? So when I speak, I'm not speaking from theory, but I'm speaking from experience, understanding the painfulness that comes through broken relationships, all right? But what I want us to do is to be able to take, is to learn some lessons and, and, and find some information, right? To be inspired and then to be informed and then to implement, okay? So, one of the things I want us to understand is that when it comes to relationships, I want you to know your non-negotiables, all right? And so my homework for you to do is for you to write it down and watch this. Feel free to write it in the comment section uh, feel free if you want to to reach out to me. I'll probably put right here some of my ways that you can contact me, contact me uh, through social media, what have you, so that maybe we can have a discussion about these things. But what I want you to do is write out what are your non-negotiables. And the reason why I want you to write that out is because many of us don't think about these things. I was just talking to a friend of mine and she was telling me about a girl that she knows who the girl literally was talking about a guy this girl has been through a divorce and has a child from the relationship she was in and she met a guy and she doesn't feel like the guy is <laughs> she, 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 almost everything she had to say about the guy was negative but she still wants to try to get with the guy she's still trying to find reasons to make it okay for her to get with this guy and i'm not blaming her but many of us have never really been taught like how to be in, in relationships, all right? So one of the things that I want you to understand is know your non-negotiables. This is a girl who, who she wants to, a man who is going to be a spiritual leader, but this she said that this guy, though, isn't spiritual, all right? Now, that's not a knock against him, but what it is saying is that this probably is not the man for you, okay? Um, she said that, you know, she wears weaves sometimes or what have you, but this is a guy who is always talking bad about black girls that wear weaves. And so I'm like, ah, if, she, if he's annoying you like that already and it doesn't look like he's going to check himself, then this is probably not the direction you need to be heading in, all right? So what I want you to do is know your non-negotiables, okay? Write those things out. Give me at least five to seven, right? So for me, just to, to name a few, I wanted, uh, uh, when I started dating again after having been through a divorce, I said, I want to be with a woman who uh, is able to self-assess and self-reflect and who, who, who doesn't just always immediately assume that she's right, but she takes the time to see, hmm, what, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? What, what could I be doing better? If, am I really bringing the right argument here to this space, right? I wanted a, girl, a woman who um, was spiritually grounded, who had a relationship with God for, her, for herself, okay? I wanted a woman who was just nice to people, okay? Um, there, there, there are other things that I, you know, I can't just spit it off the dome like some other people can, but, but, but I, I knew what I was looking for. And so I didn't just happen into a relationship by accident. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes that's what happens with us. We just like accidentally get into a relationship and think it's just going to work out. No, if you have to do hard work in any other area of life, then it should require that you would have to learn about and, and be informed about how to make good relationship uh, decisions also, all right? So moving on, moving on, my point number two, don't be fooled by the emotional draw. And so one of the things that we don't really study because it's not really taught in school unless you decide to go and become a counselor, what have you, is 
is we aren't taught how to understand our emotions and how our emotions affect our decision making. And many times, you know, we think that love is merely relegated to um, or, 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 or can be summed up in, um, in, in, in an emotion, an emotional feeling, right? And we are never going to ameliorate, ameliorate or to improve upon the condition of black families if we don't get a handle and a grip on our emotions, all right? So understand this. Our emotions pull us in a bunch of different directions. One day it can be up, one day it can be down, one day it can be sideways, okay? So if you make a decision for relationships based on emotions, then one day you can be up, one day you can be down, one day you can be for the relationship, one day you can be against the relationship, right? That's why we talk about making decisions based on principle. Now, emotions have their place, okay? Emotions keep us connected, keep us drawn, keep us fighting for the relationship, but emotions shouldn't supersede principle. Principle and emotions should go hand in hand, okay? Yes, I might feel an emotional draw, but that emotional draw should still line up to certain principles if I'm talking about getting into a relationship, okay? So what are some principles? Principles of, is, is this a person who treats other people with respect? Basic stuff, right? Is this a person who, they have a mindset to, of service, okay? Is this a person who, who really is not about themselves, but they really think about, hmm, what would, what would I like, okay? Is this a person who is receptive to maybe criticism? Is this a person who is interested in growing? It, think about things. It, it, does this person want to have kids in the future? Do they not want to have kids? Based on me, do I want to have kids? Do I not want to have kids? Based on that, what, what decisions should we make? What, what, what are some of the things that we need to consider, all right? And lastly, there, I, I want you to understand that there is no rush, all right? And, and I, framed, I, I, I framed it this way. The agony of singleness is better than the agony of a bad relationship. <laughs> I'm going to say that one again. The agony of singleness is better than the agony of a bad relationship. Listen, I've been through a divorce, y'all. I know other people who have been through a divorce. I know people who are going through a divorce right now. I know people who um, have just been through bad relationships. And almost every single one of them, if you talk to them, will say to you, listen, we would much rather go through the challenges that come along with being single than the challenge of being in a relationship that is going down south quickly and there doesn't seem like there's going to be any hope for it. Why? Because when you're in the relationship, other people are involved. It's, it's harder to, 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 to fix things when there are other people that you have to also cater to, all right? The, 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 the finances become tied up together, all right? Uh, other people become tied up. Your families become involved. You, you have children that are involved, all right? So it, it, it becomes harder for you to say, you know what, let me just start again. No, why? Because there's somebody else who's in the equation. Their emotions have to be taken into consideration. Their schedule and their time have to be taken into consideration. Their energy has to be taken into, into consideration, all right? So listen, let's not, let's not, as black people, let's no longer go into relationships casually, but let's take the time to do our homework about ourselves, about other people, and about what it really requires to have long-lasting relationships, okay? So I hope that this was beneficial for you. I hope that this is something that you can walk away with and implement some of these things into your life. Listen, I'm going to put up my contact information so you can hit me up. Listen, average is failure, all right? And we are about empowerment, all right? We are going to empower our black individuals. And listen, even if you're not black, you can still get something from it. So I ain't tripping. This is for everybody, but I'm specifically concentrating on my black folks because we have some specific challenges that I want to see us to be able to get over that hump. So, average is failure. This has been your boy, Coach Vaughn. Peace.